Baby Cupid wasn't like other baby cherubs. No sweet coos or fluffy naps for him. He liked zooming around his cloud castle on his tiny wings, causing a ruckus that made the grown-up angels shake their heads and sigh. One day, Cupid found his dad's special bow and quiver overflowing with love arrows. Now, these arrows weren't meant for babies. They were the serious kind, making people fall head over heels instantly. Well, baby Cupid thought they looked like fantastic chew toys. He grabbed one, nibbled on the feathery end, and giggled. Then, just for fun, he pointed it out the window and let it fly. Oops! That arrow whizzed and zoomed and landed right on the castle's head, Chef. Suddenly, the chef forgot all about baking fancy desserts and began building a giant pillow fort in the main hall. Baby Cupid had to giggly. This was fun. Another arrow. And the serious old librarian started making silly faces in the mirror. Another one? And the castle gardener began trying to teach the flowers how to waltz. The cloud castle had turned into a circus. Angels danced, sang silly songs, and built towers out of harp strings. Cupid laughed until his little tummy hurt. Finally, his mom found him, surrounded by a pile of chewed-up arrows. Oh, dear, she said, scooping him up. It looks like someone might need a nap, and a very long timeout. But before the nap could commence, and the timeout could dull the sparkle in his mischievous eyes, baby Cupid had one last arrow in his tiny grasp. With a yawn and a stretch, he aimed it not out the window this time, but at the very heart of the castle itself, the grand meeting room where rules were made and plans were discussed. The arrow flew not with the chaos of before, but with a gentle twirl, sparkling with magic unseen. It landed softly in the center of the room, and from it, a wave of laughter and warmth spread out. The angels stopped in their antics, looking around, puzzled at first, then smiling genuinely at one another. The head chef giggled, remembering the fun of his pillow fort. The librarian grinned, forgetting her scolding for a moment. Even the gardener smiled, a waltz tune still humming in his head. In that moment, baby Cupid's unintentional mischief turned into a blessing. The angels remembered the joy of simple pleasures, the warmth of laughter, and the strength of friendship. Baby Cupid's mom, watching the scene unfold, realized the timeout could wait. Instead, she gathered him in her arms and called out, Perhaps we could all use a bit of Cupid's reminder today. Let's take a break from our duties and simply enjoy one another's company. And so, the Cloud Castle witnessed a day like no other, filled with games, stories, and a feast of sweet treats. Baby Cupid, nestled in his mother's arms, watched the joy he had created. His eyelids grew heavy, the day's excitement finally catching up to him. As he drifted off to sleep, the castle hummed with happy voices. The angels would remember this day as a reminder of the importance of friendship, laughter, and letting go of seriousness once in a while. Baby Cupid slept soundly, a tiny smile on his lips. His adventure ended not with a timeout, but with a celebration of the unexpected good that a little harmless mischief can bring. After the initial mayhem had settled, the head chef, once known for his strict kitchen regime and the perfection of his souffles, found himself standing amidst his pillow fort creation. This wasn't just any fort. It was a masterpiece of cushions and comforters, with flags made from aprons and spoons for battlements. The chef, seeing his work through new eyes, decided that perhaps the castle's dining could do with a bit more... fun. The next day, he announced the grand opening of the castle's very first Pillow Fort Cafe, a dining experience where angels could enjoy their meals nestled in forts of their own making. The menu featured dishes inspired by childhood favorites, each with a gourmet twist. Laughter and crumbs filled the air as the angels delighted in the novelty, the chef leading the charge with a marshmallow catapult, defending his fort from a playful dessert invasion. Meanwhile, the serious old librarian, who had always prided herself on the silence and order of her domain, couldn't shake the memory of making silly faces in the mirror. It had been a moment of pure, unbridled joy, the likes of which she hadn't felt in centuries. 
Inspired, she decided to transform the library into a haven of laughter and learning. She organized the first ever Giggles and Tales event, inviting angels of all ages to share stories, jokes, and perform dramatic readings of the funniest books from the library's vast collection. The library was filled with the sound of laughter, a stark contrast to its usual hushed tones. The librarian found herself laughing along, her heart lighter than it had been in millennia. She made Giggles and Tales a weekly event, eagerly anticipated by all in the castle. The castle gardener, who had spent countless hours talking to his plants and coaxing them into bloom, found new inspiration in his failed attempt to teach the flowers to waltz. He realized that while flowers might not dance, they could still bring joy in other ways. He set to work creating the dancing garden, a section of the gardens where the plants were arranged not only for their beauty, but for their ability to move in the wind, creating a natural dance that mesmerized all who walked its paths. He also introduced musical mornings in the garden, where the angels were invited to play instruments among the flowers, the music encouraging the plants to sway and the garden's visitors to dance along. The gardener, who had always known the joy of nurturing life, discovered the joy of nurturing happiness as well. As baby Cupid slept, his day's work had sparked a transformation within the cloud castle. The chef, the librarian, and the gardener, each touched by Cupid's arrows in their own way, had found new paths to spread joy and connect with those around them. The castle, once a place of solemn duties and quiet corners, had become a beacon of laughter, creativity, and friendship. Baby Cupid, bow in hand, giggles fill the forest land. Tiny wings a flutter bright, arrows aimed with mischievous light. Squirrel finds a furry mate, chirping love songs, what a fate. Owl and dove share sleepy sighs, stars twinkling in their moonlit eyes. Rabbits hopping, hand in paw, falling head over heels in straw. Little bear cub finds sweet honey, Valentine's Day is extra funny. Baby Cupid, cheeks so round, spreading love where joy is found. Silly chaos, laughter's cheer, his tiny arrows bring hearts near. Baby Cupid, mischief done, spies a frog, just for fun. Arrow twangs, a silly plop, froggy jumps with startled hop. But the frog, with princely gleam, croaks. Hold on, it's not what it seems. Once I wore a royal crown, a, a wicked spell turned me upside down. Baby Cupid, eyes so wide. A princess kiss, the frog confides. Break the curse, I'll hop away. A handsome prince by end of day. Now Cupid flies with worried heart. A princess he must find to start. Through the reeds and lily pads, searching for a face that makes him glad. Cupid searches far and wide, a princess figure he has spied. With fur so sleek and eyes so bright, a bushy tail in morning light. A fox princess, Cupid declares. She prances across her woodland lairs. He knows just what he has to do, an arrow aimed swift and true, a tiny prick, a playful dart. And love blooms quick within her heart. She spots the frog with newfound eyes, compassion sparks, a sweet surprise. The fox princess leans so low, a gentle kiss, her feelings show. The froggy curse begins to break, and Cupid watches wide awake, the magic swirls, a golden haze, frog no more in joyful days. Where pond weeds grew, a prince now stands, fur of auburn, paws like hands. A fox prince true, I thank the day. He winks at Cupid, you showed the way. The princess bows with blushing charm, her fox heart filled with love so warm. Together now, with tails entwined, they leave the forest world behind. A kingdom waits, a happy fate, all thanks to love, not fear nor hate. Baby Cupid wipes a tear, his aim was true, the path now clear. On Valentine's Day, so sweet and bright, he brought two hearts to shining light. Though mischief made his cheeks turn red, baby Cupid longs for his own bed. 
Up through clouds where cherubs dwell, a golden palace, soft and swell. His mama waits with open arms, a hug that fills him with sweet charms. Missed you, darling, she softly sighs, wiping giggles from his teary eyes. A tiny table, freshly laid, pie with hearts in berry shade. A card with wings, like Cupid's own. Best baby in the world, it's sweetly shown. Baby Cupid, tummy round. Love, not arrows, now abound. Valentine's work so bravely done, and Mama's cuddles, he's always won. With pie crumbs dusted on his chin, Baby Cupid gives a sleepy grin. Mama smooths his feathery hair, a gentle kiss beyond compare. Tomorrow's rest for wings so small, you've spread enough love to cover all. His eyelids flutter, soft and slow. With dawn's first light on new day's gleam, Baby Cupid stirs from dream. A fresh adventure calls his name, a quest for love, a new game. The morning sun casts golden rays. Through Cupid's window, it brightly plays. He rubs his eyes, gets out of bed. With tiny wings spread wide, he said, Today's the day for love anew, a special mission I shall pursue. Not with arrows, nor with bows, but with laughter, joy, and rose. He packs his bag with gifts so sweet, chocolate hearts, a sugary treat. A map unfolds, the path is clear, to spread the joy and Valentine's cheer. First stop, the meadow, green and wide, where butterflies and beetles hide. He finds a lonely caterpillar, makes him laugh with a ticklish thriller. Next, he flutters to a stream, where fishes swim and sunlight gleam. A lonely fish, with no friend in sight, Cupid's joke makes her day bright. Through the forest, Cupid roams, visiting animals in their homes. With every stop, he shares a giggle, making tails wag and ears wiggle. He climbs a hill so high and steep and to find a lamb lost and deep. With gentle words and a soft embrace, he wipes the tears from the lamb's face. The sun sets low, the day nears end. Baby Cupid, love's true friend, returns home, his heart so full of all the joy he could pull. His mama greets with a warm smile. Had fun today? She asks in style. Oh yes, he beams. I made friends laugh, shared joy and fun on love's behalf. As stars twinkle in the night sky, baby Cupid with a satisfied sigh, knows love is more than arrows and darts. It's about bringing joy to others' hearts. Tucked in bed with dreams so sweet of all the new friends he did meet. Baby Cupid, with love so grand, spreads happiness throughout the land. So remember, kids, love's gentle power can brighten even the gloomiest hour. With a smile, a laugh, a hug so tight, we can all make the world a little more bright. And Baby Cupid, with tasks anew, awaits next Valentine's to spread love true. But till then, he'll rest and play in dreams of love night and day. <laughs>